he's one of my very favorite state reps here in Iowa. Because he was one of the very first to endorse me. So Charlie, thanks for your leadership, Matt. And uh, thanks for what you do for us in session in Des Moines. So let me share just a couple thoughts with you. Look, we're seeing a big uptick in the, our phone calls back to the undecideds. In fact, last night, Joe Hearn uh, went and double checked the math three times because he's seeing that uh, we're seeing that we're picking up up there. My sense is a lot of Iowans really watched that last forum, uh, the one that was held there at Drake. And they finally uh, have said, well, great. Instead of just three people, or instead of just two, we have three choices. So look, this is why I run. Uh, our nation is facing deep divisions and a lot of polarization. It's like uh, sometimes they seem to have an easier time shutting down our government than finding common ground to get things done. <laughs> so all my life, I've been the sort of leader that brings people together to get things done. That's what I've done as mayor. That's what I've done as governor. Unlike Terry Branstead, I didn't cut education. I brought people together to increase education funding by 37% and make our schools number one in America five years in a row. That's <laughs> So it's all about actions, right? Not words, but actions. And the ability to, to realize that we're all in this together as Americans. I would never say that all Republicans are my enemies or that all millionaires and billionaires are our enemies or new American immigrants are our enemies. Look, we're all in this together. We need each other. And that's the beauty of our country. And the things that we need to do to build upon the good stuff that President Obama has done are, are really in keeping with our longer history as a, as a people. Uh, when, and uh, Iowa always seems to have a talent for sorting through the noise and lifting up a new leader against all odds and oftentimes before the rest of the country's even heard of that leader. And that's what I'm challenging you to challenge your neighbors to do as you knock on doors. We're not going to solve, uh, we're not going to, to bring people together and uh, solve our problems by resorting to the politics of the past. We move forward. So that means uh, we, we have to remember that our economy is not money, it's people, right? It's all of our people. And we need, in essence, to put into practice a, a, a bill of rights for American workers in the 21st century to make sure that anybody that works hard and plays by the rules earns a living wage. We pay overtime, pay for overtime work, that we make it easier for people to join labor unions and bargain collectively for better wages for all of us, right? That we pay equal pay for equal work between men and women, because that will grow our economy. And that we get 11 million of our neighbors out of the oftentimes off-the-book shadow economy by passing comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway to citizenship for all of our citizens. 